everyone. Today, you're gonna be learning about identifying rock forming minerals using their physical and chemical properties. Let's get started. We have the luster. It refers to the way light is reflected from a mineral surface. An example of this is the pyrite luster. There are two main types of luster, the metallic and non-metallic. We have an example here of metallic luster, the pyrite, and the kaolinite is an example of non-metallic luster. Hardness. It refers to the mineral's resistance to being scratched. The harder ones are difficult to scratch. The softer ones are less resistant to scratches. Friedrich Moe, a German mineralogist, prepared a scale of hardness with a number of 1 through 10 in the increasing hardness. So here is the Moss scale of hardness. 1. Talc 2. Gypsum 3. Calcite 4. Fluorite 5. Apatite 6. Orthoclase 7. Quartz 8. Topaz 9. Corundum and 10 diamond. The next property is streak. It refers to the color of the powdered mineral. The sample is rubbed across a piece of unglazed porcelain or streak plate. All right, the next physical property is cleavage. The tendency of minerals to break along planes of weak bonding. It is described by the number of planes exhibit and the angles at which they meet. You can see here the sample rock. It is a type of feldspar called orthoclase. You can see planes of weak bonding. Soon this mineral will break and uh, this is called cleavage. The next physical property is fracture. Minerals that do not exhibit Clivids are said to fracture when broken. Some break like glass, some into splinters or fiber. In the sample here, we have feldspar. If you will get a hammer and then hit this rock, this rock will break like a glass or probably uh, into splinters or fibers. And that is the property of a mineral called fracture. The next physical property is the color. What is it? Of course, um, it, it is just whatever you can see in your naked eye. But sometimes this physical property is um, tricky. It's because some minerals change their color when they are in powdered form. Now, there are two minerals here. One is azurite, the deep blue color mineral. It's okay for this type of mineral because it will not change its color. It's always deep blue. The other one is sulfur. It's always yellow in color. That's about it for color. Okay, the next physical property is the specific gravity. It is a number which represents the ratio to the weight of an equal volume of water. In specific gravity, there are two weights that will be measured. First is when the mineral is not submerged in water and the next is when it is submerged in water. So it is basically the uh, ratio of an equal volume of water and that is the specific gravity. <laughs> The last physical property is the crystal form. External features of a mineral reflect its orderly internal arrangement of atoms. Okay, for the chemical properties of minerals. Sample chemical test is done. So we have the taste test, such as the halite. It has a salty taste that's it the second test is called fizz test such as the effervescence in hydrochloric acid 
giving off bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. So that's it for identifying minerals using the physical and chemical properties. Thanks for watching. Thank you.